preliminary conference on forest inventory in 2016. 8,000 billion dollars needed for restarting Da Nang University Village project. Da Nang encourages officers to use public buses. Hello, welcome back to DRT News. On September the 21st morning, the Municipal People's Committee held a conference to review the work of forest inventory in 2016 and preliminarily summarize the five-year implementation of the Prime Minister decision number no. 7 on policies to strengthen forest protection. According to the report, the total area of forest inventory in the city is over 66,000 hectares, of which the Management Board and the Forest Protection Department of Special Use Forests manage more than 31,000 hectares, while the remaining part is under the management of the People's Committees of Wards and Households. The total inventory forest timber is nearly 10 million cubic meters, of which the natural timber accounts for 90%. Regarding the implementation of the decision number no. 7, the City People's Committee has effectively carried out the decentralization of forest and forestry land, as well as supported the localities in forest protection at grassroots level in the period of 2014-2017, with a total budget of more than $8 billion. Addressing the meeting, Vice Chairman of the City People's Committee, Ho Ki Minh, suggested the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development coordinate with the relevant agencies and departments to continue effectively implementing the forest management and inventory in the next phase. On September the 20th, the Da Nang People's Committee held a press conference to introduce the International Media Center for the APAC Economic Leaders Week 2017 to journalists from the media agencies based in the city and in the central region. The International Media Center was built on an area of over 13 hectares. Particularly, the main building has an area of 1.3 hectares, with a seating capacity of over 3,000 people. The work was completed after more than eight months of construction, with many functional areas for the press activities during the APAC Economic Leaders Week. In order to maintain and well serve the press activities of both domestic and international media agencies, such various services as internet, basic office equipment, picture and image signal sources, and shuttle bus will be fully provided by the organizing board during the APAC event. According to the Scheme for a Faculty New Establishment and Rearrangement, the University of Dana will have a new member, University of Information and Communication Technology, in addition to the existing Faculty of Technology, Faculty of ICD, Dana Institute of Science and Technology, Dana International Technology Institute, etc. With such solid ground, Dana will become the largest ICD training hub in the Central and Central Highlands region. The University of Dana will enhance students' training of foreign languages, informatics, and other soft skills to ensure future human resources capability of integration into competitive labor market domestically and internationally, meeting the needs of adaptation to inevitable impact of the fourth industrial revolution. From September to November in Da Nang, there will take place many supporting programs on intellectual property for startups and businesses to enhance the awareness of intellectual property and contribute to improving the competitiveness and harmony under the 4.0 revolution. Accordingly, on September the 23rd, the workshop theme Power of Intellectual Property in the Industrial Revolution 4.0, Opportunities for Vietnamese Startups, will be organized at 31 Jung Phu Street. On October the 14th, at the same venue, Da Nang Intellectual Property Office, in collaboration with Da Nang Business Incubator, will hold a workshop on intellectual property, how it is critical for startups. In the coming mid-November, Google Developer Group Central will organize a special event for programmers called Google Dev Fest Hackathon, which is totally free of charge for participants. $8,000 billion is the total estimated budget required to restart the Da Nang University Village project, which has been suspended for two decades since the master plan of this project was approved by the Prime Minister. 
according to the University of Da Nang, based on the Prime Minister's decision and instruction to carry out the Da Nang University Village project in a meeting with the University of Da Nang in February. The university has worked with the Ministry of Industry and Trade and the People's Committees of Da Nang City and Wang Nam Province to revive the project. The total cost of compensation, site clearance, and basic construction work for the project is estimated at eight trillion dollars. The Da Nang University Village project, which was approved by the Prime Minister on December the ninth, nineteen ninety-seven, has a total plant area of two hundred eighty-six point five hectares, located in Hoi Ward, Wuhansheng District, Da Nang, and Di Ngoc Wo, Di Bang District, Wang Nam Province. The APEC year 2017 gives Danang a lot of great opportunities, especially in the field of investment, including high-tech agricultural investment. Most notably, seven planning for high-tech agricultural development in Hoa Vang District, which were approved by the City People's Committee. A total number of around 440 hectares of land has been planned. Up to now, over 90% of agricultural infrastructure in the above-mentioned planning areas has been completed, being ready to receive large and small-scale investment projects. In addition, under the decision and guidelines of the City Party Committee and the Municipal People's Council, the City People's Committee has approved many preferential policies on supporting the investment in high-tech agriculture development, and APEC 2017 will indeed be the great opportunity for Da Nang to attract high-tech agricultural development. The Da Nang People's Committee has recently launched a plan to implement the project, launching movement on encouraging officers and laborers to use public buses. The goal of the plan is to mobilize at least 30% of the city officers and laborers to use public buses to minimize the use of their personal vehicles for the purpose of protecting the environment and actively responding to the City of Four Safe program. The main contents of the plan include signing emulation commitment between agencies and officers, giving 10,000 leaflets to everyone on the bus routes. Currently, Danang has 12 bus routes, including five subsidized ones, which were put into operation since the end of 2016. However, the number of local residents using this means of transport has still been very modest. The Nguyen Chi Thanh Secondary School, in collaboration with the World Vision Organization, held a reading festival on September the 21st morning. The Nguyen Chi Thanh Secondary School Reading Festival is organized with many books. These books display books on a variety of topics such as literature, natural sciences, geography, history, life skills, with a total number of nearly 13,000 books. The festival is really a useful extracurricular activity for students, creating an open space for them to look for their favorite books and exchange with their friends. On this occasion, the World Vision Organization donated a bookshelf to Wichita Secondary School, contributing to enriching the sources of books at the school to better serve the reading needs of students. Toward the goal of forming the first international standard private symphony orchestra in Vietnam, recently, the Executive Council of the Sun Symphony Orchestra has been officially launched. This orchestra will gather the musicians who are able to meet the world's classical music standards. The Buff of Sun Symphony Orchestra aims to realize the aspiration for bringing the classical music closer to the public while attracting Vietnamese classical music talents, as well as improving and integrating the art of performing the Vietnamese classical music into the world's one. The founders of the Sun Symphony Orchestra is backed to create a convenient environment for nurturing and developing the Vietnamese classical music talents, as well as creating a chance for audiences around the country to enjoy art through the concerts regularly held nationwide. That's all we have for today's news. Please log on to drt.danang.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.